Hello, you're listening to a brand new episode of Done, the weekly podcast about how good structure at work makes all your workdays much more enjoyable. I'm David Stjernholm and as a structure, I spend most of my workdays giving talks and holding seminars in organizations in a multitude of industries. And right now, many clients book two half-day seminars with me on one single day. That is, I then meet one group in the morning and one in the afternoon. Often more people from the organization can attend them since they do not have to set aside an entire day for the seminar but still will get enough useful tips and tools that enhance their structure at work. And also the entire staff does not have to attend at the same time but instead at least one half of them will be available for the clients and for the production. And if you want to know how we can set up such a day at your work just email me and I will send you a quotation. The address is, as always, david at stjernholm.com. David at stjernholm.com. And now for today's episode that is about how to make your email inflow easier to handle. I often ask the audience at my talks if they receive a lot of email and I virtually always get a loud yes shouted back at me, accompanied by sighs and various exclaims of fatigue. When we later touch on how many emails a lot actually constitutes, it can range from 20 per day to over 100. But regardless the actual number that each individual experiences as overwhelming, most find it challenging to deal with and process this continuous stream of incoming correspondence. No matter our situation, there is at least one thing we can do to lighten the load and make processing all these emails easier. It may be small, but that is alright, because when it comes to structure, the smallest thing can have a great effect, since the change we make concerns how we work throughout our entire workday and hence influences us more than we might think. The one who receives a lot of emails can be assisted in processing many of them, at least partly, by using rules or filters. The function has different names in different email clients, of course. When activating a rule, the email tool will screen the incoming emails and do at least a small part of the work for us. You can, for instance, ask the emailing program to do the following automatically to send all emails of a certain kind to a particular folder, to delete the emails you're not interested in but which come from an address that also sends emails you really want to receive, to change the color of the text in the subject line if the email concerns a specific topic, to signal with a ping and a desktop notification if you get an email containing a particular word, even if you have turned off the general notifications signaling new emails. To label the email with a specific label if it comes from a particular person. To respond automatically with a certain text when the subject line contains a particular phrase. And more. What you can be helped with depends on what emailing program you use. Of course. Do this. If you have not used rules or filters for your emails before, have a go and try it. It is easy to set up and use. If you are unsure of what you could create rules for, try thinking of something you want the email program to do with the emails you receive from me, or perhaps from one of your colleagues. If you are already an avid user of rules and filters, you could take another look at the function again, since there are new aspects and features added all the time, and perhaps your particular tool has added something new you are yet unaware of. Because if you set rules and filters for your emailing tool, it will ease some of the load emails burden you with on a daily basis. Perhaps the change will not be great to some, but if you receive a great quantity of emails, the relief will be quite noticeable, and this trick will do you a lot of good. What rules and filters do you use to make processing emails easier? Write to me at david at stjernholm.com and tell me. If you write hashtag my way in the subject line, I have created a rule that will make your email light up in a nice color in my inbox. Thank you for joining me today and welcome back for next week's edition of Done.